Right, this is the third incarnation of the um, 12 volt generator project. Uh, this time I've used a, a 4 horsepower Briggs and Stratton vertical shaft engine, which is directly coupled to a, a 45 amp 12 volt alternator, which is, which is under there. Uh, I've just made a frame out of angle, angle frame with a diaphragm, sheet metal diaphragm that the engine sits on. Um, the flywheel, which is, which is this, this bit, I thought it, uh, it, it does run better with a bit of a flywheel effect, so I, I took the blade off the, the um, I was on the mower that I got the engine from, and just cut it down, because it was about two foot in diameter. So I cut it down to that size, it was roughly the uh, peripheral size of the engine. And that's, that's, that's enough to give it a, uh, quite a nice flywheel effect. Um, so I think with 4 horsepower I should easily get 4 45 amps out of the alternator. And press a, a little bit more as well. So it's uh, easily the amount of current that I need. Um, it's got the f normal field switch. Um, and a warning lamp, which is normally on the dashboard of a car, which is and that's on that's on at the moment. Um, illuminators, um, and I've just for a bit of a test, I've I've rigged it up to my electric bike, which is, as I did last time, 30 amp meter, which is here. Um, so I've I've fired up now, and when I press the, 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 the accelerator on the bike, you should see the, the amount of current that's taken on the amp meter. Although I can't put it through the amp meter for too long because the shunt inside the meter overheats. So I can only give it a, just, uh, just two or three seconds on, on a high current. Um, the engine's got an automatic governor which was extremely well, it works really well when it, when it sends his extra load from the alternator it just happens to throttle slowly and maintains constant RPM which gets over the major problem that I've had with the last two generators the RPM wasn't stable enough um, so right, I'll probably have to, I think I'll have to put the camera down for a second and start the engine Right, so I think, I think the, the um, current meter went up to about 18 amps there, which is um, some idea of the capacity. And the, the RPM of the engine was very stable, and that's what I've been, uh, the main thing I've been trying to do. Um, so I think that's uh, the project really completed with the 12 volt generator, that's, that's what I need. Um, the only thing I might do is give it a bit of um, give it reverse polarity protection because I'm not sure if at any time I kind of accidentally connect a battery the wrong way around whether it's going to blow the alternator up. So I'll, I'll do the reverse polarity protection with some large diodes 
So I'm dying to take the current rather than the, the alternator. Just to, um, and then if I um, re, uh, connect the battery the wrong way around, it'll just give a big spark as a warning. <laughs> uh, and the other thing I might do is put an exhaust pipe on it because there's no exhaust at the moment and it's quite very noisy. So what I might do is um, get a little um, like an elbow pipe with a flange coming out of there into through the diaphragm and then an expansion to a chamber under under here with going onto a short exhaust pipe just that that should silence it quite a lot because being four stroke it's not too sensitive to back pressure so I think that's a, that's about it okay thanks for watching <laughs>